Sysadmins all over the world will tell you that network troubleshooting is best done in the command line. So here are my top five tools and you'll be surprised how easy they are. Hey, I'm Nixie Pixel, and you're watching OS All, your source for open source. So here's a clue to kick off the countdown. This command originated from the sound that's made by submarine sonars. That's right, we're getting our feet wet with ping. See what I did there? Right full rudder, reverse starboard engine. Right full rudder, hold back starboard sound. Ping is actually one of the most common and useful network tools. It should really be the first line that you try to verify your computer can talk to its destination. Ping sends out an echo request to a source and reports how long it takes to return a response, much like the sonar system does. If there's a timeout, it usually means that your target IP is unreachable, bringing you one step closer to troubleshooting the network. And of course there's 8.8.8.8. Going back to that IP, that's Google's DNS server, and for some reason it's timing out. Since ping doesn't go into the nitty gritty, we'll use traceroute to see exactly where the disconnector issue is. Looks like Comcast is looping for no apparent reason. Yay for internet service providers! Let me show you another example, one with a lot of hops. You guessed it, Ubuntu.com. You can see it goes to San Jose, New York, then to London. Why it jumps over the pond when it's a US domain, I have no idea. But you can see all this with Traceroute. So far we've been using IP addresses, and unless you have a knack for numbers, they're pretty hard to remember. That's why DNS was invented. DNS is the magical thing that turns the domain name nixiepixel.com to an IP address that computers use to talk to each other. There's this amazing tool for Linux called DIG. DIG stands for Domain Information Groper, and it's used to translate domains to IP addresses, like so. Since we're all about groping now, let's grope us some Wikipedia articles. Ooh, they're called Llama Glamas. I didn't know that. This scenario may sound familiar, so you're living with roommates and all of a sudden your internet gets strangely slow. You're not downloading anything, ISP's all good, so you meander on over to your roommate and ask him if he's been torrenting porn again, which he adamantly denies. Let's find out if he's telling the truth with IFTOP. You may have used TOP before to monitor processes like CPU usage, and IFTOP is in the same family but for IP addresses and networks. The line I'm using here is to display all the bandwidth that's being utilized currently between hosts. That's a lot of upstream traffic, but what ports is it accessing? In the roommate case, or any with servers with multiple users or purposes, it's good to see what top connections are from the web and what are software utilities and such. Pressing P while IFTOP is running will toggle the port display on and off. Wow, there's tons of connections on dynamic ports going to my roommate's computer. Not using BitTorrent again, huh? You're so busted. As you've just found out, the internet isn't nearly as anonymous as it seems. With every registered domain and IP, there's juicy tidbits of information attached, and who is is an easy way to get it. Instead of going on an unknown website to research domain names, do it within the comfort of your own console, like this. I want to know if llamaswithhats.com is taken as a domain, so I'm going to use who is to figure it out. Or what if FilmCow has an issue with their site? You can see here all the technical context for the domain and where you can reach them. Secret Agent Bob Web Network to the rescue. Those are some of my favorite commands, and a lot of them have customization options and different configurations that I can go into in future episodes. What networking tools do you use the most? And yes, they can be GUIs. Can we say Wireshark? It's awesome! Thanks for watching OS Alt. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source. Now in a new location with improved feline. Sort of. But not really. Are you looking at porn, kitty? I can find out. Wow, you are not as nearly as cooperative as my other. Ow! <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, Cat. Right. Okay. Look at this stubby kitty. Oops. I can't wait to have my camcorder back. <coughs> I know. Me too. It's alright. You got no tail to hold you down, to make you laugh, or to make you frown. Oh.